In this next step, we're going to install the igniters and the ejection canisters. Uh, so the igniters are these, and they need to be long enough to get outside the, the rocket. And if you notice on the end of the bulkhead, there's a hole, and that's where the igniter comes out. And then from there, it goes to the terminal blocks. Now, on the altimeter itself, uh, the end with the apogee, that's the bottom. So that's going to go towards the fins on the rocket. So that's going to be down. This is going to be up. The, this alt, um, ejection charge is the main parachute. So um, that's going to hook up to where it says main on your altimeter. Now, um, again, on these wires, you want to um, cut them to the only 1 8 inch approximately of wider wire is visible because otherwise they could touch together and short themselves out and in that case it's not going to fire off. So this one's going to go to the main so I'm going to put it into the terminal block and that's what these are called here. As before give a tug on them and I'm going to press them flat so I get all my wire down as to the board as, as much as I can. Now the main pair or the uh, drogue parachute or the drogue deployment charge um, that one's going to go out the bottom and right now the bulkhead is not on so I don't have to really worry about where it's being routed but it goes into the drogue terminals on the terminal block. like that. Okay. Now at this point you should probably hook up your altimeter and verify that you're getting all the correct beeps to make sure that it sees both igniters. Um, and your instruction manual on the altimeter will tell you what beeps to listen for. So I'm just going to skip that part by turning it off and disconnecting my uh, battery. So now when you're out on the field, at this point you can take it out to the field and get your rocket ready for launch. When you're out on the field, you're going to um, hook up your battery, connect it all together, and then you're going to take your tube, and remember the hole goes, goes towards the front. Um, so then I'm going to slide the tube into there, or the, the sled into there. Push all my wires in nicely. Um, on this end, I got my hole here, so this I got to route the wire. Actually, I need to I need to go this way like that because my hole is on this side. Okay, then I put the igniter through the hole. It's going to go into there like that. And then there's this thumb screw. And the thumb screw just goes in there like this. Just get it started into the weld nut on the inside. Okay, before you tighten it down too tight, um, again we're going to spin this around. This time we're going to look inside so we can see our um, switch button right there. And so once you find it, then you can go ahead and tighten it down. All right. Now, this is going to go into the front of the rocket like that. Okay. Um, so we need a, a shock cord attached to this end. So I'm going to tie a shock cord here. Okay. The other end of the shock cord is going to go through the tube and this gets attached to the nose cone.
Whew, it came apart. Try that again. Use whatever knot you feel works for you. People always ask me what's the best knot to use, and, and my answer is the one you feel comfortable tying. Okay, so now I got my tube and the nose cone. You're also going to put the parachute on there. So typically you spread everything out and then you align all your lines to make sure that they're all the equal length. Make sure everything is equal length. So I, gr I always grab here at the, at the shroud lines where they attach to the canopy and then pull tight. And so now they're all equal length and run that through the loop on the nose cone. Keep holding that part. All right, so there's my nose cone it's attached. And that's going to go into the front of the tube. And you can pull the shock cord through, stick the nose cone on. Okay. Now, the bottom of the rocket. I'm going to attach a quick link here because as you saw in my introduction video that a quick link can make it very convenient to um, take everything apart after the end of the launch. Do you hear the fly buzzing around? It's above my head. Okay, so there's my quick link, and the quick link gets attached here like that. But for now, I'm going to leave it off. Okay, so I'm ready for my deployment charges, and I kind of ran out of time on this video, so I'm going to start it in the next video.